record this computer. Good. So we're recording already. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Um, I'm just going to put my computer up this way, and we'll see if we can get a, a good shot as to what we're talking about today. So I want to welcome everybody today. And um, this is pretty cool, Sunita, because this is, we call your kickoff. So this is really the start of your annual business. And I'm super excited because you're in an area where I don't think there's any annual consultants around. So that is pretty cool. Just to give you an idea, we have eight consultants within half an hour of my home. And I was talking with you prior, our, our town is about population 800. So the next towns are a little bit bigger, but we've kind of congested ourselves. And it's really great because um, we're all talking the same talk. We're walking the same walk and we're teaching the same thing. So I'm really, really excited for you to bring this to um, to where you're living and to home. So, so that's great. So congratulations. So today actually is the only day you can be a host. Um, so anybody who puts any orders, everything goes to you. The commission goes to you, which is incredible. We run on a point system uh, and with our Austrian company those go to you um, and all the customers go to you. So this is a really great way to kick off your business. So um, I just want everyone to keep an open mind when we're chatting about the education of Enyo. It's very different probably than what you've been used to uh, hearing about before. Um, and so to for sure ask any questions. So if Sunita doesn't have the answer, she's just going to go, hey, Lori, right, what's the answer to this? And I'm going to get it to her. So the whole idea is to make things really simple and easy. So I am Laurie Conde. I live in a very rural area in Ontario. We're right off Lake Huron, which is kind of cool. Um, I was actually dragged to my first annual cleaning class. I did not want to go. I was so fed up with mixing concoctions and buying chemicals that were really super strong. I mean, I knew that I wasn't supposed to be using some of the some of the chemicals in my bathroom, but here on the farm, our water was very different and I could not get my surfaces clean unless I used a really harsh chemical. Um, so when my girlfriend Janine said to me, Laura, you need to come to my annual cleaning class, I said, absolutely not. <laughs> I am not coming. And she said to me some very important words. She said to me, Lori, it's mechanical cleaning. And I thought, oh, mechanical cleaning. So this is very different. So I'm a dental hygienist. I've been a hygienist for almost 30 years. I kill nothing in people's mouths. So when you compare that to a cleaning chemical that's killing, sanitizing, and disinfecting, I am in the worst bacteria in the world, the most dangerous job right now in COVID next to respiratory therapists. Um, and I kill nothing in anybody's mouth. I use very tiny engineered instruments to mechanically remove debris, tartar, plaque, bacteria, all the, I call it compost because it's just all that stuff out of people's mouths to restore health. So mechanical cleaning was very, um, it, it was something that I knew that I do all the time. So when I heard that this was mechanical cleaning, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ask all kinds of questions. I'm going to purchase because I was pretty wowed actually uh, by the whole demonstration that I was at so many years ago. But the biggest thing was Enyo uh, had a 60 day money back guarantee and we still do. And I was gonna send it all back. So to me, it was a win-win situation so many years ago, but not only obviously am I still using Enyo at our home, I literally clean our entire farm with these Austrian fibers and water. And uh, I'm sitting here on Zoom <laughs> trying to teach more people about it. Um, Enyo really talks about a lot of things. We talk about clean is not a smell. So we shouldn't be smelling a lot of products. We shouldn't be smelling anything as we're cleaning. We say that it's going to help our health. Well, that's a given. I mean, obviously, if you clean with water and fibers, your health is going to become better, not only for you, um, breathing in all those VOCs, but your family with asthma and allergies and just product residue all over the house, getting it out, getting all the toxins out of the house. 
We talk about helping our environment, which I could have cared less about my environment. That sounds terrible. Uh, but so many years ago, um, I really did. I recycled my bags. I did a lot of recycling, actually. I took my grocery store bags to the store. But other than that, um, I really didn't think as a human being on a little parcel of land that I could really do anything more for our environment. And when you <laughs> purchase and you, once you start using it, you automatically become an environmentalist which is kind of cool. So not only is our company from Austria, we are a neutral carbon footprint and we are zero waste when you are using this. Even after the lifespan of our annual fibers, um, we're recycling our fibers and we're recycling right now in Austria. Um, it, I think it's couch stuffing and um, playground equipment or something like that. They change it up quite a bit. Um, but that's a really cool thing. So for sure, we're saving uh, our health, our environment. We are cleaning it half time and that is huge to me um because i i mean we're all a slave to cleaning unless you absolutely hate cleaning and then you just don't do it right so enyo not only puts the fun back into cleaning because it is literally so simple wet wipe dry that is it clean with your fibers dry behind with your drying cloths keep your zones in your zones basically that's the whole demo <laughs> sanita <laughs> It's so simple, but it allows us to clean in a half the time, if not faster than that. So you will save money with Enyo and using it. The average Canadian is spending approximately $500 a year in cleaning products, whether it's sponges, paper towels, all the cleaning products that they have to use. And now during COVID times, um, I, I would say that's up at least another $100. So when I first started using Enyo, I, um, I didn't think I'd save a lot of money. The first thing that happened is I saved money in my time because time is money to us. If we don't have to be slaving and cleaning or paying a cleaning professional, which I love them, but if we don't have to pay them um, and we can teach our children how to clean our home, we're not only giving them a life skill, but we're saving so much time as we go. So for sure, saving money and saving time with this. So how does it work? Let's just get into the nuts and bolts. So I always um, I always compare Enyo to product cleaning. So product cleaning is something that all of us do. I did it myself and you have to use a product to product clean. Everyone's doing product cleaning right now unless you're using Enyo. So a product is um, anything from Comet or Mr. Clean or Bleach down to all your green products, all your method products that still give out volatile organic compounds, by the way, not as much as real as harsh chemicals, but we're still breathing in cancer causing agents, um, right down to vinegar and water and baking soda, which I did myself in my home. It all left residue around um, or um, essential oils. It's all a product. So 98% of the surfaces in our home have all these little micro pores so down in the micropores is where all your dirt, your grime, your grease, all your bacteria lives. Can you hear my kids out there? Because they are just, <gasps> I almost want to just bang on my window. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love them dearly, but they're really loud. <laughs> so 98% of the surfaces in, in our homes are porous down in there is where all your junk lives. That's what we're trying to get rid of. But 98% of the surfaces in our homes, that leaves 2% that are hard, non-porous surfaces. And I want you to take note of this. The next Lysol commercial or bacteria killing commercial, chemical commercial that's on TV, I want you to scroll down with your eyes at the bottom of the screen and it says for use on hard, non-porous surfaces. Read directions. So what that means, a hard non-porous surface right now when I look around my computer room are my windows. That's it. So 98% of the surfaces is all your wood, all your walls, all your tracking, all your fabrics, all your bathroom stuff, everything in the kitchen, everything is porous. So let's go back to chemicals because that's what we're using, even though we're not using it on the right surface. You're going to pour it on push it on, you have to let it sit for approximately, like Lysol wipes, for example, are a four to 10 minute kill. That means you have to leave the surface wet for four to 10 minutes, which again, nobody's doing. So let's say you did, let it sit there. That's fine and dandy. And then you're going to take, these are my old cleaning cloths. 
Uh, this one was made in China. It's got silver in it for some reason. This one is just from our local grocery store that I bought years and years and years ago. This is what I used to clean with. Notice they are all flat cloths. There is no substance to them. Um, and what I did with them is I actually took them over top of the pores of the surface and I went on the surface. So I surface cleaned. So what's left in here, which we don't realize, is now all this product residue that you've left down here. Bacteria that's probably still alive because we haven't killed anything but all the good probiotic bacteria that we need and the stuff that's on our hands because who wears gloves when they're cleaning? Not many, right? Um, so all your dirt, grime, and grease is down there. Well, bacteria needs two things to grow. It needs a food source, which it gets from all the product residue down in the pores, and it needs moisture, which it will also get from the pores of the surface. So what happens with product cleaning is I noticed it all the time in our house. Number one, I had residue everywhere when I looked at the sunshine. Uh, number two, I had stains and smells that were coming back really quickly because bacteria just ate the product residue and all the dirt, grime, and grease as a food source and multiplied again. So we mix, we get this really crazy concoction of, um, of stains and smells and product resistant bacteria, right? That is that is starting to grow again in our home. And, you know, we don't talk about this a lot. We, we kind of watch the, I watched the commercials. I thought, I saw them wiping and walking and just walking away. And that's how I learned to clean. And annual consultants were all here to actually educate people on how to do the cleaning in their home. So how does annual work? Well, we are a two-step process. So I'm going to get really close here just so that you guys, you can see this. So I've grabbed our kitchen pack. So on our board, there's all kinds of really different crazy colors. Um, the colors represent different areas. There's a, different zones in your home. And you're going to pick the proper zone to clean the proper area in the home. So kitchen glove is green. It looks like this. They are super duper thick. But the fibers on this side are actually engineered to go core deep. So 100% of the surfaces in your home with only cold water and it does it mechanically. So just like you would take your toothbrush, right? And brush your teeth in nice light circular motions on your gum tissue. You want to take your glove, no matter which one it is, you want to wet it. And I'll show you this out in the kitchen with a little cold water or a lot. You roll them if there's too much water in here so that it doesn't drip down your, um, down your arm. Everything's designed so that you're ergonomically correct. So your hands are no longer doing this and pushing. They are out like that. You're going to go over the same 100% of the porous surfaces in your home. And these little fibers just go down and pull everything out. So we don't sanitize. We don't disinfect. Those terms are actually linked to a chemical. You have to have a chemical in order to kill something. And Enyo doesn't kill anything. We actually do six times better. We pull it out of the pores. It stays in our glove as long as we're in cool to cold water. And then we have a drying cloth. <laughs> so this is a, a cloth, right? I never ever clean with this. I will fold it in about three or four. You get one with every zone or every pack or every healthy home that you get. And then all that you're doing is you're going over top of the pore surfaces again. It's just drying moisture up. So there's no dirt left down in here, just moisture. And when you can do that, put two of them together, this pulls up the food for bacteria, this pulls up the moisture for bacteria, which gives you a surface six times cleaner, stays cleaner longer because there's no food source there for bacteria to eat and to quickly grow again. Um, that's it. It is so, so simple. Um, the biggest thing that I found is that people have to see this. They've got to trust it. I would trust nothing else in my home. I have to tell you, if there was something better, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> and as a hygienist, I'm a perfectionist as a cleaner. If there was something better than Enyo, I would be doing it, hands down. I would leave this company and head to something else. There is nothing better than this. So you are starting a business that you have no worries about. <laughs> because I researched this to death. Um, I knew it worked in my home, but I wanted to know that it was working in other people's homes. 
So I did a lot of research before I said yes to this company and um, everything was positive. The only thing that I didn't research was the people behind the company. And I'm here to tell you that they are incredible, amazing environmentalists, health advocates, family orientated here for um, for everybody just to make the world a better place. So you're joining an amazing company as well. So let's get back to my board. So we've got different zones. This is a healthy home pack. So what this is actually is everything that you need to clean your home. The only thing it's missing is, um, is a toilet wand for your toilet and they've taken it out because you actually have a choice. And I think that's a perfect idea. <laughs> so, um, and I'll talk about this in the bathroom a little bit after. Um, but you've got everything you need for your, to clean your bathroom. This is for three years as well. So your bathroom, all your living areas, your dusting, your, all your fabrics. So we're talking leather and fabrics in cars and fabric couches, even shoes and boots, um, a glove to do all your wood walls, windows, any hard surface, uh, surfaces. I'm looking around here in my computer room. I would literally wet it to do the computer keyboards, to do the doorknobs, the light fixtures, any high touch areas, bring it out in your car. And I've done a ton of videos on that as well. I maybe even put one up on your, on your group, Sunita, I think, doing the car. Everything you need for your kitchen, your floors, you get a choice of two fibers, which I'll go over out there. Your window system, I begged Enyo Canada to put this window system in their healthy home pack. And to them, they listened. <laughs> so we now have the window combi in there because I always say if you have two windows and two mirrors in your house, you need this. This is speed um, and this is streak free windows very, very quickly. Removing dirt, total dirt. Okay, so I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna take you out. First, maybe I should go over laundry instructions because if you're going to use your Enyo, you need to wash your Enyo. So we are reusable for a minimum of three years. And I do a couple things for laundry. So first of all, Enyo's got a laundry liquid and, and everything is made sustainably in Austria. So even with our laundry liquid, we have Austrian Alps salt in here to act as a water softener in the product, which is incredible. So this is lavender. I have a pump system on this because you're only going to dose it a half a teaspoon to two teaspoons in an entire load. So not only that is that better for the clothing, it's better for your machine. You're not leaving a lot of um, toxic product in there that makes your machine smell. Um, and it's all plant-based. So underneath our farm is our septic system and underneath every home in the city is a waterway <laughs> and everything's connected excuse me, going to one um, water treatment plant. And you, we wanna be putting just dirty water in plant-based soaps down there, which is really cool. So in your machine, you're going to wash your annual like you wash your hair when it's dirty. So simplest, simplest way to do it. When you wash your hair, you wash it with hot soapy water, everything exfoliates. When your enyo is dirty, you wash it with hot soapy water. So whether it's in the machine and not too hot, it's like 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. So in the machine, or you can do a hand wash with enyo. Um, and that is with the orange blossom washing up liquid. It's a degreasing soap. I use this to actually do my hand dishes by hand. So I, I use it as like a dish soap. I use it to pre-treat my laundry. And I use it to uh, hand wash my annual. And I just did a little video on that this morning as well. Pretty quick, hot water, you're the human washing machine, squish it, rinse it, hang it up outside to dry. So no dryer with your annual fibers. Okay, you ready to go for a little tour? <laughs> Where do you want to start? I've got the bathroom set up. But, oh, maybe we'll start the kitchen. Is that okay? All right. Okay. Welcome to my home. <laughs> So I've got, you know what? I am really hoping that I've got my video pinned here. You think it's pinned? You think it's big? Gosh, I didn't even think to do that. It looks good. Does it look good? Okay, all right, we'll keep going. Thank you. I'm just going to... Okay, I'll keep going here. So I have a chicken in the oven. <laughs> so this surface is a little bit warm, but it's still going to work just as well. Um, I've got my kitchen fibers here. I've got my kitchen glove. 
I've got my kitchen all purpose and my scrub is really close by. So I've also got my drying cloth, which is a new waffle. Uh, it's a new waffle drying cloth. So we are cleaning with our fibers. We're drying behind with our drying cloth. The kitchen fibers are really uh, engineered to pull a lot of grease and grime off the kitchen. So I got lots of butter here and I'm just going to smear a bit on my glass. Let's see if we can bring my toaster into view. Hopefully you can see it. You. Is that okay there? I'm just gonna put on with my fingers so I don't scratch anything. Let's put a big old gob on there. All right, and we can even put see it down there. We're doing good, you can see it. When I'm in Greece, um, I'm going to use our stronger kitchen fiber. So the darker the color, the stronger the fiber, okay? So our kitchen all purpose, I used to do my dishes. I used to clean all my wood. Um, I use it like a paper towel all around the, um, the kitchen. And our kitchen fibers that are stronger are the ones that we use to pick up all the grease. So it's wet, you can see how floppy it is because I've used it for a little bit. I'm actually just gonna pull the butter off my fingers. I'm going to grab the melted butter <laughs> that's starting to melt on my stove. And then we dry behind. I'm going to add a little bit more water. I just have my water bottle here. So I'm just gonna put water on my toaster. No, you can keep that over there. Yeah. We just pull that off and you can actually see it starting to accumulate on there and then I'm going to dry behind and then we're even going to go to our glass I'm just going to put a little bit more cold water on there and then I'm just going to take it off with my glove you can even oh sorry you can even see it the butter cleaning the glass from that way leaving just water and then we just pull it right off with our drying cloth, which is pretty crazy. So you can actually go from um, your microwave to your stove, make sure that it's a cold surface, to all your countertops. I would do my sink. I would go across here, do all that. You can even do your dishes with cold water and also, which will really freak a lot of everybody out, um, because it's the fiber that does the job, not the product that does the job, right? So we're into cold, cold water as we're doing that. Inside your refrigerator. So the refrigerator was actually one of the biggest in your wow moments that I had because I hated cleaning the refrigerator. It's such a pain. <laughs> it's a lot of work to pull everything out and then fill up your sink with hot soapy water. And, and the whole idea with Enyo is to make things really, really simple so that um, you can go fast, clean with your fiber, dry behind with your drying cloth. Okay, so the floor system. This, this has saved not only my back. <laughs> I used to do floors with vinegar and water. Vinegar is an acid. So vinegar was taking the finish off the floor. Um, and I was on my hands and knees all the time. So in order to get off your hands and knees, with your floor system, it's been pretty incredible that way. So there's a couple different fibers that you can choose from. And with the Healthy Home Pack, or with any of the four, the four packs, these are the three fibers that you're going to choose from. Ornum just always dust with any um, Not only do you know it because of the color, but when you look at the tag, it says dust <laughs> right there. There will also be on the flip side your laundry instructions. There'll be a water droplet with an X through it, meaning that you use it dry. So this takes the place of the broom. You don't have to pull your vacuum cleaner out with this. Instead of sweeping everything up on the, um, in, the, uh, in the house, you want to make sure that you're just pulling your fiber around so everything stays in your fiber. So to pop this on, you just load your fiber all the standing. There's an open, there's a closed paddle so that it stands on there. There's a lock so that when that lock is pulled up, you've got motion with your handle. And then you can also put your pole up. And all that I did was I just turned it lefty loosey, righty tighty with one hand so that you can get it up and down. And usually to, um, to dust, you want it about chin height. 
And then you literally let your duster do the work. Um, make sure that your posture is right. And something I really make sure people watch this because once they start with Enyo, they start doing this and posture goes out the window. So I really want to make sure people are standing up Catch yourself doing it. Watch you're not twisting your wrists a lot. Watch that you are just letting it float all across the floor like that. So when you've got a lot of gravel, Cheerios, anything like that, the fiber won't pick that up. But what you want to do is bring it to one spot, maybe underneath your sink, so that all you have to sweep is a dustpan, and that's it. Okay? Then you want to open up your floor fiber. Don't even have to bend over. Pick it off your floor system. Take, grab the back end, take it outside and beat it outside into the environment so that all your allergens go, go out there. This is incredible on dog hair, cat hair, human hair, <laughs> and just plain old dust. I mean, I used to vacuum my bathrooms. Um, now I make sure I take the duster up because the amount of moisture that's up there that holds that dust that the vacuum doesn't pick up kind of blew my mind away when I first started using it. So your other fibers look like this. There is a blue, light blue one, a soft one for flat, shiny surfaces. Check out my kitchen. <laughs> it's perfect for this floor. Or if you had hardwood that's very flat and shiny or tile that's very flat. Okay. The next one up is medium fiber and it's for textured, excuse me, textured surfaces. So linoleum with a little texture in it, tile with grout, and you can go up. You can also use both of these together, but the whole idea is to kind of wash and dry at the same time. So Sunita, I always tell people get the fiber, if they have hardwood in their home, they want the fiber that does the best job on the hardwood. You do not want to leave a lot of water. That's the soft one. Um, if they've got a lot of tile with grout and a little bit of hardwood, they can probably switch up to the medium fiber, but do their hardwood first. Okay. The other thing is, is you want to wet only a little section of this, keep two thirds dry. So you want to wash and dry the floor at the same time. You are actually going to add water to the floor as you're washing. So again, it's just about controlling that amount of water that's there. The dirtier the surface, the more water they're going to use. Okay, so I'm just going to wet this under my tap. And just to kind of show you. So I've got a third wet, two thirds dry. I've already dusted my floor. So I'm going to load my floor fiber on there. You can make your handle just a little bit longer. So again, your floor system is out in front of you as opposed to here. If I do it here, it's not gonna move. You want it out in front of you. And then you've got lots of room to move your floor fiber back and forth. And then if you need to, you can just take your water bottle, add more water to it, and then bring your floor fiber through. Again, the dirtier the surface, the more water you're going to use. If you've got a bit of spaghetti, just do a little circle. <laughs> okay, that's it. Off your hands and knees. <laughs> it's fun when you get to demo everything because you're really cleaning. So I hate walking over a wet floor. <laughs> okay, let me just make my pole a little bit smaller. So I'm, my hands just go opposite to make it smaller. And um, when this pole is straight up and this lock is pushed down, sorry, I just have to put this down to push it down. So when that lock is down, not only does your floor system stand up, but you can also take your pole and pull it out. So you're going to twist it to the right and it comes out of your floor system. Okay. So it comes out for two amazing reasons. The first reason is for this dust flexi, which I know we want. <laughs> you can use the dust flexi just as it is. It flexes. Okay. So you can get up to like different, um, I'm just going to flip this up a little bit. So if I'm up on my kitchen cupboards, like this, um, I can go underneath my refrigerator. I don't know if you can see that right underneath there to take out any dust. I can go under the refrigerator. I can do um, under appliances. But then when you want to, you can actually take your handle off, pop it on 
to your floor system. Push up with your lock. Sorry, I just have to get it in the right spot here. Push up with your lock, then it's on your system. Then you can do twist. And now you've got a six foot reach to get higher ceiling fans or higher cobwebs. Or if you want to go low on the floor, if you've got flip low profile furniture, it's really important that they can stand up and get underneath the furniture without bending over too much. So that's the first reason why this comes off. So I'm just gonna take this off again. The second reason is for our window system. It is incredible. There, I know, <laughs> this thing, I thought this was stupid. Um, I gotta tell you, and I never, I never would have purchased this because I am so thrifty that I thought this is crazy. Um, it's $169, I'm gonna tell you right off, it's $169 in the pack, get the pack, because it's got your water bottle, it's got your drying cloth, or it's $139 on its own. The time it saves you, you will make up in the, the second time you do your windows, honest to goodness. Um, I don't know what it's like in, in Vancouver right now, but in Ontario, we pay up to $500 to get our windows done. So once. <laughs> So if you can get a system like this and it comes in your healthy home pack already there, take it into the bathroom or do all your glass and mirrors. I even use it on my glass tables in the living room. So there is a little e-clip here, which I've already taken off. Okay, but the little button comes off there and then it pops onto your floor system and you just line up your holes right there. Then you're gonna pop your e-clip back in and again, you can twist and then you've got another six foot reach with your windows. So this is what I use on top of the car to do my, um, um, what do they call it? You know, on the, on the top of the car. <laughs> I don't even know. Sun, sunroof. On top of the car. Um, and also with shrubbery or windows that you just can't reach that you need either a ladder or a step stool with or, my mother and father-in-laws, you can't even get a ladder into their place because it's all shrubs that comes out. So I can easily put this on. The water bottle will spray almost a story. So I don't even have to have the hose out and I can quickly and easily do their windows. So I thought I'd show you quickly today how to do your windows in the house, if that's okay. I'm just going to turn you around. So I'm going to use a couple things. Out of the living pack. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see me. Sorry, the lighting's terrible. Out of the living pack, we've got a duster, again, orange. You use it dry, put it on your hand, dust everything. Glass, wood, inside your car, take it outside. I know you love this thing, <laughs> getting it outside. Throw it to your children, tell them to dust their room. It's incredible, this thing. Then we've got two other gloves. The one with the light blue stripes isn't as strong as this one. So again, the darker the color, the stronger the fiber. This one's for all your textiles. So couches, chairs, leather, uh, shoes, carpets that have little stains on them. Um, clothing, that's real. If you don't wanna send it to the dry cleaner, try your textile glove, just cold water on it, okay? And then the next glove is darker. This is your dark living glove, strong. I've done a ton of videos on this glove already. It gets all the tracking clean, the windows, the screens, the mirrors. Any hard surfaces, wood, walls, high touch areas. So I also use it to help me to do the screens. So all that I would do is put cold water on this and it's beautiful on the screens. Um, and I also use it to do my windows. So I'm just going to spray, this is our large walk pump bottle. You pump it and then you just put your trigger so that you've got constant water. It comes with a smaller one, but um, this is incredible. It's I've seen it in Austria, but Enyo just got it in. So it's been a really fun thing. So I do windows with both. I take my blue glove, I clean the glass with my window system. I clean the doorknobs all around here, um, all the screens, everything with my glove. I also use it uh, to take the water off my squeegee because it's easier that way. I'm just gonna push my door open here. Hopefully you can see this. So you want to go across 
And one of my customers actually called me today on the phone and <laughs> said to me, Lori, that squeak that you hear on the windows, those are happy windows. <laughs> because if you listen close, you'll hear the windows squeak. Like it's crazy. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I you know. It's just so cute. I love my customers. They're so amazing. And they live way up north. Um, where they really protect their waterways. So it's really cool to just kind of get in touch with people like that. So then I would use the glove to do the base of the door. I know that you can't see that, so I'm not gonna do it right now, but you're also just going to take your drying cloth and you're just going to do the outside of the window. Done, done. So I've had a ton of people with dogs and cats and, um, and kids that are licking windows and they absolutely love the system because number one, that is streak free dry, clean six times better. Um, and I'm saving on paper towels because I only use one drying cloth and I have 40 windows down here. <laughs> so little trick and hint, if your glove is getting really dirty, just rinse it with cold water, roll it out, keep cleaning. When you're finished cleaning, hot soapy water. Okay, so if there's a lot of debris and stuff, which my window set, we're on a farm, I have muck in my tracking. So I just take my glove to pull all that muck out, rinse it just in a little bucket that I have with me, and then I can keep on going. Hey, how are we doing for time? <laughs> Do you want me to go in the bathroom or no? Yes, please. The okay. bathroom is amazing. Bathroom is crazy amazing. Okay, welcome to my little bathroom. Um, so the bathroom pack that people get have a glove. They have a scrub and they have a drying cloth. And excuse mine, it's really old. <laughs> so you're always cleaning with your fibers and you can tell that I've cleaned part of the bathroom here. You're cleaning, you're drying behind with your drying cloth. The only thing that's not in the bathroom pack, like I kind of showed you out there, this is what I keep my toilet wand in. <laughs> it's literally just a recycled container. So then you can recycle it out. But the fiber is what does the job in the toilet. Your toilet's already cold. So just pop your fiber in there, clean around, tap it off, move on. I have four bathrooms. I use one kit for all four bathrooms. If people get the healthy home pack, um, it will come with a cloth instead of the glove. It's a little bit smaller than the glove. Um, and I usually, if they've got more than one, one or two bathrooms, I usually tell them to add the glove. If they don't, Sanita, I mean, knock themselves out with the cloth. It's really awesome. I usually keep the cloth in my powder room or the trailer. Um, it's just a really nice, or people will just use this on their toilets if they have a little phobia about toilets. But this is how fast it is to do our sinks. Now, I just did this the other night because I held a cleaning class the other night but I just put cold water on my glove. So our glove is doing all the cleaning. Now, the biggest thing with our bathroom gloves is it will not pick up hair. It will not pick up all that yuckiness because if it did, it would be actually um, pushed into the fiber and it would be really hard to get it out. So they engineer the gloves to not pick up hair. So with hair and stuff, I usually tell people to grab a little piece of toilet paper, get the hair out of there, and move on. And we're done. So the scrub I would use in the bathtub if I've got tracking. You can also use your glove and scrub on shower curtains, on sinks, countertops, showers, bathtubs, the whole nine yards. I usually put it in a little tote like this so that I can tote off to the next bathroom. Um, if people really have a big phobia about toilets, I just say do them last. Um, I did all my toilets last, uh, but I don't anymore, just because I've read all the, um, all the studies and done all my research. And I'm like, why would I do them all last? I'm just going to um, do them all at once as I go along. Okay. So, how to order. <laughs> I didn't even go over the skincare, Sunita. Like, <laughs> that'll give you something to do. But skincare fibers work the same. I've got them right here. Uh, warm water, though, in your shower. So it doesn't have to be cold. 
warm water in your shower, no body wash, no soap. It actually keeps your skin at a neutral pH, exfoliates, increases circulation. Um, and then there's a couple little specials on right now. All the little makeup removers are on special right now for 69, or they have a little Mother's Day special. Um, oh, eczema for sure. I mean, it's been crazy amounts of allergies and eczema that go away. The little special is in this mint green color. Sorry, I don't have the right color to show you, but it's a face glove and the little double iPad for 69 as well. So to order, people just have to contact you. Um, they, you need their address, their email, because the receipt gets, gets sent straight to their email with a tracking number. Everything ships from, well, from Austria, obviously to Canada, but our warehouse is actually quite close to me. It's about two and a half hours away near Caledon, Ontario, which is just outside of Toronto. And um, I think BC shipping, I think it takes regularly five to seven business days, something like that. So kind of watch your tracking number. Um, I think that's it. You can do cash, you can do e-transfer, you can do credit cards, um, check. You can do, if people want, you know, are like, oh, my husband's not going to be happy that I'm doing this, which my husband was thrilled I got Enyo completely for our septic system. Um, you can do both. You can do half cash, half credit cards. <laughs> and that's about it. Okay, so if you don't mind, I'll stop the recording so that people don't have to, and then I can answer any of your questions. So thanks everybody for watching and for being educated on this incredible system made in Austria. And um, we will talk to you soon. Yeah. Thanks, Laurie. Great.